Sagittarius, come on in, put your feet up, and make yourselves homage, and doesn't look a little chat to me. Been meditating on it. And your word of the day. Well, it just came out as a song, and uh, it was. I don't have to sell my soul, it's already in me. Which is a song called I Wanna Be Adored. Well, <sighs> I wanna be adored. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's Stone Roses, by the way. Total tune, by the way. I don't need to sell my soul. Which is exactly it. You don't need to sell your soul to be loved. You don't have to go through horrible things for love. It should just be easy, right? Sagittarius, I want to be adored. I'm just going to say adored. Adored. Alright, bear in mind with these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. The only legitimate way of getting a private reading with me is if you go directly to my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you can't bother to write that out, it's just in the description box below. I'm never going to come to you ever. If I do ever come to you, it's a scammer and it's not me. So don't fall for it. You have to come to me. Sagittarius. Adored. Tell me more. Yeah. Right. So there's only blooming reading ever just like resonated with one word. <gasps> yeah. So the overall vibe is that they are ignoring you. Completely ignoring you. So, you know, what do you have to do? You shouldn't really have to do anything to make this person love you or talk to you or be with you or, you know, but that's what they're doing. They're ignoring you. And if that's what they're doing, then this isn't your person. Why should you like beg and plead for somebody to love you? It shouldn't be torture, right? Love should just be like, hey, I love you. I love you too. Let's spoon. Yay! Let's do stuff together. Go out for the day. Touching trees and skipping or like making sandwiches, eating them. <laughs> I don't know, stuff. It's not like this person completely ignores your existence and then when they want you, they come and get you and they use you for what they want you for and then they ignore you again like you're nothing. Tell me more. But you're not nothing. You're everything. And you could be everything to somebody. And you are everything to somebody. But Are you? Right now all you can feel is that you're lost and lonely without this person and they come when they want you and then they 
cast you aside when it doesn't serve them anymore and that's torture that's 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 horrible that's mean and cruel and you uh sure as hell deserve better you don't need me to tell you that that's it's just normal you know this person's using you somebody does actually somebody likes you somebody cares about you somebody has you in mind perhaps someone that you work with but you're too busy yearning for this person being lost and lonely without this person that you can't see it you want this person's validation because if this person validates you then you'll feel better right because you've been rejected and rejected and if they validate you then you won't be rejected anymore right no that's something you have to heal within yourself this person will never validate you and even if they did, it wouldn't give you the validation that you actually need. The validation that you actually need is within you. That you don't actually need somebody else to validate you. Because you're amazing. And it's nothing to do with whether anybody else thinks that you're good enough. Because you are. And you don't need someone else to tell you that you're good enough. Because that's self-love. And when you love yourself, then it doesn't matter what somebody else thinks, right? Tell me more about this. I'm going to sneeze. Tell me more about this. <laughs> Come on, that wasn't a sneeze. That was pathetic. I don't feel even vaguely satisfied by that. Do you? I I want my socks blowing off when I sneeze. I want to wake three streets away up. <laughs> All right, tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, please. Someone who sees you for what you are and respect your boundaries, understands that everybody has them. Whew, that's uh, refreshing. Anything else Sag needs to know right now? This other person, someone that you work with, I feel, is somebody who would give back what you put into a relationship it would be very balanced what's coming up in the near future the hanged man Ooh. seeing someone in a different way from a new perspective oh that's that person at work They uh, look pretty hot today. Hadn't noticed them like that before. <laughs> the scales just need to be removed from your eyes from this person. This person's using you. And like I said several times over, you're never going to get what you need from this person, which is validation that you are good enough. They won't give it to you. You have to give it to yourself. And when you start seeing that this person's a dick, because basically they are, then you can start seeing other people from another perspective. Chair's a bit squeaky. Jeez, what's that all about? Let's get some WD-40. So, like, uh, what's the best you can hope for? Uh, a 
uh, just, no, <laughs> shit, shut up, <laughs> it was a squeaky chair, all right, the best you can hope for, this is all about, there's a whole lot of talk, blah, 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 but nothing going on, what's that? Well, I think the other person's a whole lot of action and not a lot of talk, so what's this? Oh, gosh. What's that? Big yawn coming from... <laughs> I kind of feel like you're having a conversation with this other person who's been using you and this is where the no action coming in like what do you want from me where do we stand and like you seeing them for what they really are it's a conversation and you you just say you know what i'm done with your crap i'm not you're not going to use me anymore that's it we're done and you finding your strength and not letting them In again that two o'clock in the morning booty call no not answering the phone freeing yourself from a toxic unhealthy situation cutting out people who are no good for you so what's this outcome here we've got a page of pentacles for the outcome I sort of feel like this is when the next thing comes in, you know, you, you cut out what's not good for you and, and you start seeing that this person was using you and then you start seeing someone else from another perspective. And I think this is where a really gentle kind of friendship can develop into whatever it's supposed to be now that you've got the headspace for it right so we're not going to ask about this new person because i don't think you're ready to hear it yet i think you want to hear about this past person how do they really feel about you? So we're going to take it into the extended after I've read this uh, outcome. I'm going to ask, how do they feel about you in their heart space? What's, what's their true feelings for you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But let's have a look at this page of pentacles. Why is this here for the outcome? somebody in your life obviously the person who is using you is making you feel very insecure about yourself and the longer you spend with this person the more unbalanced you get it's time you saw them for what they really were Faith in your dreams. Where do you want to be in a year's time, my love? Let's make it happen. Forget about that person. Though. And your love lyric for the day is... You think it's a phase, but it's all going to happen to you. I got double life, actually. And the uh, Leo reading. Double life by the cars. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Bye!